holidays. I am one hour west of Chicago at a Christmas market. The name of this market is Chris Kindle. Again, it's in Aurora, Illinois. I guess there's a few of these around the Chicagoland area. And it's kind of like a German Christmas market sort of thing. They've got food. They've got crafts. Anything Christmas-oriented. Christmas merchandise. Let's go get into the holiday spirit. The first Chris Kindle Market Chicago was concepted in 1995 when the German American Chamber of Commerce of the Midwest was seeking alternative ways to promote bilateral trade between the USA and Germany. The leaders of the new market invited companies from Germany and Chicago to participate in the first Chris Kindle Market back in 1996, which was in downtown Chicago. The market has become a big hit and has grown every year since then. I see also over here they've got some traditional Polish European food at uh, that stand. A lot of vendors here. I think I found one of my favorite parts of this uh, market though. Cookies. Food. I'm ready. That's the same look my dog gives me if I catch her going potty in the house. Just kind of freaked out. This uh, market is pretty neat. They've got a couple of family events. You'll find it on their website, including a lantern parade and Twinkly Thursdays at this location. And if you just happen to be here on a Thursday, you can indulge in a delightful afternoon of wine discovery. They've got wine tasting on Thursdays at this location. And if that's not jelly enough, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I'm starting to post more information about my Christmas contest. I've got some really awesome prizes I want to give away. And I'm hoping you'll win. The information is starting to come out on my social media pages and it will be hitting YouTube really soon. So follow, subscribe, like, share, comment. Well, you know what to do. It's the social media thing. Chocolate figures? Edible chocolate figures. Edible chocolate figures, huh? When was the last time you ate a cat or a puppy? Look at some of this, actually. Looks like uh, an actual screw there. Tools. <laughs> the toolbox for the chocolate lover handyman in your family. Oh, wow. Amazing. Oh, nice. It works. It's even tuned. <laughs> like always, I'll have a link to this place in the description of this video. So if you'd like to check it out, you'll see more information down there. But before you scroll down there, give this video a like. Yes, you look awesome. <laughs> Perfect for YouTube. Do you make these as well? We do a family owned business. Yeah. We do the designing. Everything is uh, made in Egypt, actually. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No kidding. Egypt. Wow. These are journals over here. It's real leather, actually. Very nice. Well crafted. I like that one. The nautical theme. That's kind of like a wood design. huge market by any means but it sure packs them in it probably goes like maybe about a half a city block that way there you saw the uh, vendors with food they've also got beverages over here and then there's some more vendors back there as well we'll check them out a lot of neat things here the Gloria that must be a German word I think in English it means subscribe to my channel hey 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 I have no clue what that was about or who those people are here we go again. 
Is there a sign on my back or something? Apparently when you come to the Chris Kindle market, everybody is friendly and just says hey and hi. I saw a sign earlier that says you can host your event here. You'll have access to a festive venue with an indoor bar, customizable German delicacies like bratwursts and pretzels and all kinds of neat things. So I'm sure that information's on their website as well. I think it pretty much goes without saying, if you go to a Christmas market, go hungry. And if you should come to this one and you leave hungry, well, that's on you because there is food everywhere here. That smells good over there, but I was thinking more of something sweet. I got a sample. Oh, do you? Triple cinnamon. Oh, wow. How can you say no to that, right? No, isn't that? It looks awesome. <laughs> Well, that's a start for free sample. Actually, that was very good. Plenty of parking here, too. The lot we parked in was only $10 right across the way. And if you're familiar with the Chicagoland area, maybe live in the suburbs or the city, you can always take the uh, train uh, for a few bucks from the city or the uh, suburbs as well, right here into Aurora. I'm here with my family today, and they're all just kind of roaming around checking this place out. And I just wanted to vlog it really quick and share it with you. If you love the holidays, I have a lot of many unique holiday videos coming up, so subscribe to this channel because you won't want to miss them. Boy, some of these tents have such lines, long lines to get into them. This tent right over here, look at that, just wraps all the way over there. And it looks like it's just a, uh, a merchandise tent. <laughs> Hard to see through it, but I see some ornaments over here. And uh, let's see, on the other side of this tree, just some knickknacks. I just kind of pack them in. I'm also guessing it's heated in there, so maybe it helps out with the line a little bit or explains the line. It's probably about 30 Fahrenheit as I film this right now. They have a lot of photo opportunities over here as well. Great spots to get your selfies in. Look at the size of these ornaments. These things are huge. Just found another one of those uh, tents here. Huge lines to get into these things. And part of it is just because they are heated inside. But you'll see a lot of uh, merchandise and Christmas things. Some more ornaments. Those ornaments are, are pretty as well. Hand painted. Really pretty. Almost a full moon. Cold on a day like today, they've got hot chocolate all over the place. This is uh, Ghirardelli's hot chocolate, really good. This cup was four bucks. They've also got them where you can get these uh, mugs, and it's really weird because they're pretty much the same mugs, souvenir mugs. And some places sell them for like a couple dollars cheaper than other places. So I've not figured that out yet, but I just went with this and walking around warming up a little bit. It seems to me as the sun goes down, it cools off. More people are coming out here though, so pretty neat. I know, you want to see what it looks like at night. Let's go one more time. Santa's sleigh, but we didn't find Santa. The funny thing is, there's a line for Santa's sleigh. Me, they've got a bridge decked out for with uh, Christmas colors. Well, I've come 
I saw, I sampled, I sipped, I froze. It's neat Christmas market again. There's information linked below in this video. Do you want to win some prizes? Check this out. Hey, it's your old pal Maverick Hayes. If you enjoy travel, attractions, tourism, and reviews, then subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And just in time for the holidays, subscribers and followers can win awesome prizes, including gift cards. And if I hit 3,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel by the end of this year, December 31st, Kelly will do something that she really does not want to do. Shave my head. And we'll do it live on YouTube the beginning of January. Wait a minute. Shaving my head for 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year? I think I need to rethink this. So subscribe to my YouTube channel right now and follow me on my social media platforms with your chance to win great prizes and me possibly getting a full shave the beginning of January. Maverick Hayes on YouTube now. Subscribe to the fun. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the fun. Follow Maverick Hayes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.